Hey guys, the BB Warrior here, and today we're going to be talking about the First Spear Ops Core Maritime cover, and mine is in multicam. Now let's get into some of the details of this helmet cover. Now to start, it has mesh on both sides, which is a nice touch. It kind of breaks up your silhouette, and the actual middle of it is used out of real cry precision multicam, I believe. It has color matched Velcro on the top and the back, which is something that I personally like. It shows that they didn't cut any corners in making this, and it just looks overall better than a standard tan Velcro, in my opinion. I wish that more companies would switch over to this color match Velcro, but only time will tell. It probably is more pricey for them to make. So it is a short, it is a small corner that they cut, but nonetheless, I would like to see it. Now, the Velcro is the same style as the Ops Core on the top, which allows you to put flags, strobes, whatever. However, it does change on the back of the helmet from the typical Ops Core style. On the back, you can see it has a little bit of a raised section in the middle. That's something that I personally like, so you can run a vertical counterweight pouch as opposed to a more horizontal style. This will allow you to run something like the EOG counterweight pouch, and it even has enough real estate to run a big counterweight like the Milsim West counterweight, which is like 4x3. Overall, I think it's a nice little touch that provides a lot more usability to this helmet cover. Now, you might be asking if you've never owned one, how do you mount this helmet cover? Well, it does have Velcro on the bottom of it, which sticks to your traditional Ops Core Velcro that's on the helmet itself. And then it has four straps, two in the front and two in the back, that Velcro under the helmet. However, mine, the Dragon Red copy of the Maritimes, does not have any Velcro down there for it to mount on, so I had to add a little bit of it myself, but you can run it without that if you so choose. Overall, I think this is a great helmet cover. However, there are some things I dislike about this that I like about the Ops Core version more. On the Ops Core version, along the sides, pretty much where the mesh would be, there are little strips of 550 cord. And what that does is that allows you to run wires such as uh, NVG wires or GoPro wires in my case. One day I'll have nods if I ever get rich. Uh, but it's just a nice little touch that allows you to run cables. What I would have to do is run it under my flag like the uh, one that you see right there. However, I don't really trust that. I'm, I guess I would just rather have those little strips of 550 cord to help keep it stable, keep it from snagging on a branch or something. That is going to do it for this review, guys. If you like the video, you can always subscribe for more gaming and airsoft videos. And if you own a helmet cover, which one do you own? Let me know down in the comments below. And also, just in general, tell me what type of helmets and headwear that you guys run. I would love to see what you guys are running. So make sure to let me know down in the comments below. As always, this has been the BB Warrior, and I will see you guys next time.